Ooh, look at these bears. Just hugging it out. Here we are in Alaska, where there are just so many different species of wildlife. Oh, and there is this bear in the backyard looking for some trash. Alaska is beautiful. However, thanks to climate change and global warming, of course, a lot of the snow is breaking off. And the habitats of a lot of the ice and snow life seem to uh, be slowly adapting to their new water world. Now, there are still mountains of snow and there are still glaciers and whatnot. Look at this polar bear just doing its thing. Look at that freezing waters. The polar bears have certainly adapted and they like to swim and they love to hunt for seals. Seals, incidentally, are the main dish on their menu. They love to eat seals. Look, this polar bear is like, hey, are there any seals in that Wawa? Here's a family of polar bears just walking around on the very cold beaches. It looks like a beach, right? Of Alaska. Look, it looks like Hoth for any of you Star Wars fans out there. Now you see, here I was telling you about how they're learning to adapt and you know, their fur allows them to do stuff like this, to, fr to swim around in freezing waters. Look at this beautiful sunset. Now here come a bunch of caribou. Caribou are absolutely fascinating to me. They belong in the same family as deer. And if you look at them, they are kind of like deer on steroids. And uh, I meant to tell you folks earlier that the male polar bears are called boars. <laughs> like the boars, like the hogs or pigs. Oh, look, there's a baby caribou. Now, as soon as caribou are born, they know how to run like this. Of course, that's to protect themselves. They stay close to their family. And they, they usually, as you can see, they gather in groups of, oh my gosh, look at these hoppies. Hop, hop, oh, it's a baby caribou. I just love them. Oh, I really want one, please. See, look at all these caribou walking around this body of water that looks like a boomerang. Here we are in Alaska. This is the springtime and all the caribou are out and about. And they love to walk and eat together in large groups so they can look out for one another. Caribou have scent glands at the base of their ankles and they use them to let the others know that there's danger. Like right now, here's a wolf, a gray wolf looking for a snack. Now the baby caribou fall victim to predators because they are so little, which is why again that they learn that they know rather how to run. Oh my goodness, and they're off. So, as you can see, the herd of caribou, everyone's running. Look at this baby. Everyone's just taking off because of that gray wolf. Look at this baby. Look, the babies keep close to their parents. And the gray wolf is just trying to isolate a baby to have a snack. It's amazing. You see, and the creator was like, you know, these baby caribou. Oh, no, they're, oh, goodness. That gray wolf is really hungry. Oh, Alaskan wildlife. Ha, <laughs> stupid. Hey, speaking of stupids, don't be stupid. Subscribe right now and get yourselves one of my Honey Badger shirts.